Coming up on MCTV this week, discover why Global Health was selected as the second triad and learn about civil strife as the topic of this year's Sam Thompson lecture. This week starts now. Welcome to MCTV This Week. For Juliana Graff, I'm Jack Godlewski. Monmouth College has officially revealed their next interdisciplinary program. Global public health will be the focus of the new program. The so-called triad brings psychology, kinesiology, and modern languages, literature, and cultures together with three new faculty in each discipline. It's um, one of the most popular fields for students to get into, and there's always going to be a need for um, people that work in that field, and especially for people that are culturally, in, have intercultural competence and that um, have cultural sensitivity and, yeah. The expectation is to give students the necessary tools to handle health issues by teaching students how to research different ailments and possible treatments, as well as promoting healthy lifestyles and preventing possible injuries or infections. I think they're going to come away with the opportunity to get a job to have a career that's very meaningful that will have meaning for the rest of their life as they work, that they're going to feel like they're doing something good for the world. Two years ago, Global Food Security became the first triad of Monmouth College, bringing together anthropology, biology, and economics. The search for these three faculty will begin in fall 2016. Issues of civil strife was a topic of last week's Sam Thompson lecture. Professor of Religion and African American Studies from Princeton, Dr. Eddie Glaude spoke about wage disparity, police brutality, and especially the political climate in this year's election and how it has negatively affected people of color. Well, it's a challenge for us. Uh, we certainly have to mobilize um, those progressive voices, those, be, those of us who are committed to uh, a broad democracy, we have to mobilize and join together to hold off the, the ugliness and nastiness of, of the forces that are that are, are, are afoot in the country. Um, so it's, these are dark times, but they're challenging times. They're, they're suggesting that we have some, some work to do. This annual lecture is sponsored by the Philosophy and Religious Studies Department. The Art Alliance of Monmouth College hosted Monmouth's first juried student and faculty art show yesterday. The show gave students and faculty the ability to showcase their art for the community. Loby Stone and Susie Toomey served as judges. Winner for Best of Show was Gabby General and her piece Being an artist Fact. is one of the things that I've kind of struggled with my whole life because everybody tells you like, oh, that's a field that you're not going to be able to get into. And being able to have a piece in an art gallery exhibit, um, it, it feels really good to win something. Not only just be in it, but also win. Other winners included Best Drawing, Javier Abrego, Best Sculpture, Shoshana McClarence, Best Mixed Media, Alex DuPont, Best Photography, Hannah Reilly, and Best Painting, Ruby Nogirin. I, I live and breathe art. Like, there are nights where I don't go, I don't go to sleep because I have to draw or have to paint. And it's not very good for me, but like, it's, it's very important to me. Having arts and being able to express yourself, especially on a college campus where there's a lot of um, people getting more involved politically and for what they're going to do in life uh, with a career. I think it's just it's really important to be able to have that balance. The Art Alliance will have their senior art exhibition from April 11th to the 30th in the Len G. Everett Gallery of the Hughes Library. Take a look at some events on campus this week. COIL, Monmouth College's literature and art magazine, which publishes each spring, is now accepting submissions in the areas of poetry, fiction, nonfiction, drama, and art. All submissions are due to COIL at monmouthcollege.edu. The deadline for submission is Sunday, March 27th. Easter break starts at the end of classes tomorrow. While the residence halls will remain open for students who wish to stay on campus, the dining hall will be closed. The first meal after break will be dinner on Monday, March 28th. Coming up after the break, Fighting Scots Baseball plays their first home game of the season.
Monmouth College Fighting Scots baseball team took to the field this weekend in a first game of a doubleheader against the Iowa Wesleyan Tigers. Sophomore right-handed pitcher Austin Hardy got the start in the first of the Scots' two games. In the second inning, sophomore Grant Myers gets on base with this single as he went three for four on the day. Later that inning, senior Brandon Parin drove in the first two runs off an RBI single. Scott's up 2-0. to zero. The Scots showed great defense throughout the game as junior first baseman Bryson Shepard catches this foul ball, sending the Scots back to the dugout. In the third, freshman Matt Innes would single and later score, putting the Scots up 3-0. to zero. Monmouth would go on to win their home opener 14-2. Every week we really try to take game by game, inning by inning, and uh, that's kind of been the motto this year, is to really uh, not put too much emphasis on anything and just really take everything game by game, inning by inning, because we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Mama started the second game of their doubleheader after lighting up the Tigers in the first one. The doubleheader was a tale of two very different games for the Scots. Unlike Game 1, which the Scots put up 14 runs, Game 2 turned into a pitcher's duel between Monmouth's right-handed pitcher Tyler McDonald and Jared Boyer of the Tigers. The game broke out in the sixth inning with an RBI from Iowa's Chaz Brown, giving the Tigers a 1-0 lead. Iowa would soon take a 2-0 lead late in the game. The Scots would respond in the bottom of the sixth with an RBI from Austin Hardy, allowing freshman outfielder Jake Starkley to score. The Scots would go on to lose the second by a final of 2-1 and split the doubleheader. The Scots' next home game will be on April 2nd against Robert Morris University. That's it for sports. Here are the rest of the scores from this week. For MCTV this week, I'm Tyler Bernison. And I'm Jack Odluski. Make sure you tune in on April 6th for another new edition of MCTV This Week. I'm Juliana Kraft. You can also find us on the web by going to monmouthcollege.edu slash mctv. See you in two weeks.